Emily from the Mom's Guide to DCL, which if you're watching this, you know stands for Disney Cruise Line. Today, I wanted to show you guys what I carry in my pool and beach bag on my Disney cruises. Um, if you haven't been on a Disney cruise, there are a couple of handy dandy items that you would probably really be glad to know to have. And if you, if you know anything about the Disney Cruise Line, you know that the pool on the ship is small, but it is exposed to the sun. So some of these things will be really obvious. Some of them will be really helpful to know in advance. First off, I wanna show you this absolutely adorable customized bag that I got. I ordered it on Etsy. I think after shipping, it cost me like $12.50. Um, and it's huge and it's got lots of space because I know my kids are gonna come up with a shell or um, mommy, can you hold this cover up for me? So I always leave a little bigger bag than I need. So the first thing I have in my bag, not shocking, but I've got several pairs of sunglasses, some for the kids, some for me. We felt like particularly on sail away day, it was sunny, it was hot, we're in Orlando. Um, we were really glad to have sunglasses with us in our bag. Next up, still obvious, but very helpful. I have these flexible fabric band-aids. Um, you can use any band-aid, of course, but these ones tend to stay on really well in the water. So your kid scuffs their knee at the pool or um, scr scratches themselves on, I don't know, a seashell or something at the beach. You don't have to stop, go to first aid and find one of these handy nifty guys for about a dollar from Walmart. Those went in my pool bag. You know, some of these really obvious things, we've got the spray sunscreen that makes it really easy to keep the kids covered. Um, if you're down at the Bahamas, I mean, the sun is like right on top of you. So definitely use a lot of sunscreen. I have this small one that I bought. It's like a travel size sunscreen. Um, my kids do not like me to spray their faces. So I use that. Okay, next up, I've got this amazing waterproof pouch that I put our key to the world cards in. Um, if you are going on a Disney Cruise Line trip, you will have to have something to carry your key to the world card in. You take it everywhere you go. It's the only way that you can pay for anything on the ship um, or castaway key. So you definitely need to have these. When we're on the ship, my kids have their own lanyard. Our travel agent gave us for free um, with a little pouch that they can wear their own key to the world cards with. When we leave the boat, <laughs> you have to have it to get back on the boat. And at that time, I take possession of all the key to the world cards and put them in this sealed up lanyard. Um, I also love this because I can throw my phone in it and take it in the beach or in the pool or on the aqueduct and make videos or pictures of the kids that way. Um, so yes, definitely bring one of these waterproof pouches. I think I bought this one on Amazon for like $8 maybe. So totally worth it. Um, next up, my kids are super uh, sticky finger kind of kids. So I love to have just a couple of these when we're at the pool. Um, if you've been on a Disney cruise, you know that the pool deck and the unlimited ice cream soft serve machine are like adjacent. And so no matter what I told my kids, it felt like we ate, I don't know, 40 ice cream cones per day. We would be at the pool watching Disney cartoons, swimming, splashing, in the hot tub, and for surely eating ice cream. So these were nice to have so they wouldn't wipe their sticky ice cream fingers on uh, the pool towels that we used. Okay, next up, I have a sealed up water bottle. Nothing fancy, nothing big. When you're on a Disney cruise, um, anywhere that you go that's a Disney property, like Castaway Key or on the ship, you get unlimited drink refills and everything. Um, so I don't carry a water bottle for each person, but I do have one that I keep filled up with water because I know that if your kid's thirsty and you just sat down on the beach and they want a drink of water right now, you're gonna have to go all the way off the beach to where the water machines are and the drink machines are and get drinks and then the ice cream machine's there and then you're like four more ice cream cones in and that can be a little bit of a disaster. All right, the last thing and probably the most important thing I can tell you today about Castaway Key is the beach is beautiful, gorgeous, and pristine, but it is rocky. Right by the water, um, my kids desperately 
needed water shoes. And so <laughs> we learned that one the hard way on the first trip. This time we've got these to keep in our pool bag. Um, you know, they're super cheap. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them on Amazon. They are totally worth having for Castaway Key. Personally, I know for myself, I really liked having them for the aqueduct too. Running around on the pool deck barefoot um, didn't really appeal to me, but the kids didn't care on the pool deck. So yep, water shoes is the last item in my bag. Um, couple of items that would be good for like an honorable mention would be beach toys. So if your kids wanna play on the beach, mine are a little bit old. They're kind of coming out of that phase of life now. Um, but you could bring beach toys, um, you know, shovels and little things that they can use to shake for shells and stuff like that. And then also we have some scuba masks that we bring. You can rent them at, on the island for about $10 if you want to. Um, but those are really helpful to have as well. So thanks for watching. I hope that you guys uh, learned something that will help you on your next Disney cruise.